So uh, really today I want to talk to you about uh, these um, Russian-speaking APT groups that are transitively linked and related. And I'll go over a, sort of a simple model where we can clarify sort of clusters of activity and resources. Um, and I'd like to maybe drop a few nuggets of information to add to the public discussion about some of these groups that may not, well, that may help uh, provide some insight into how these groups are linked and uh, what they're all about. Um, when I heard about something, um, a conference related to um, disruption, destruction, those sorts of things, right away I thought of black energy. The 2014 event was uh, really interesting to myself and a colleague named Maria. Um, Hades has been uh, in, well, it's been spoken about here and there in blogs, but this is another APT that's very interesting and uh, shows up in the October indictment, I believe. Uh, we'll talk about Sophocy and then Zebracy is another interesting uh, subgroup. Uh, it has been discussed as just malware, but it's kind of taken on a, a label of its own or a grouping of its own. Um, when I look, uh, when I'm looking at data on these groups, this is how I kind of cluster their activity together. So with Hades, they were the guys responsible for Olympic Destroyer and the Wipers, uh, the false flag effort behind trying to appear as though they were an Asian organization. Um, Sophocy is supported by Hades. So Hades is sort of this front-leaning organization that supports other efforts, uh, special efforts. And Sophocy happens to be one of them. You'll see in the October indictment, lots of mention of ex-agent and these guys who are performing close access operations. Um, Zebracy is very interesting because of its link to black energy and their, their movement away from ex-agent and sort of the older elegant code base they had been using and towards just churning out newer tools in Go, in C Sharp and all sorts of stuff. Um, scripting languages, Delphi, and then uh, their use of remote templates with uh, Empire-enabled uh, PowerShell macros uh, is kind of hot right now. As a matter of fact, it's uh, very hot. I'll talk about that in a second. And then uh, Black Energy, of course, is well known, and they are very closely tied with Cray Energy. In my opinion, it is the same group. And I will talk a little bit more about a piece of data that leads me to that. So this simplifies it all. I'm kind of done. Uh, Hades has a lot of overlap with Sophocy. You'll see in the, um, in the October indictment that these guys who were performing Wi-Fi man in the middle um, were delivering uh, X-Tunnel, X-Agent, Responder, all these other tools, um, and supporting the push to uh, Canadian officials, ethics officials' laptops. But ex-agent shows up all the time in relation to these Wi-Fi operations. Sophocy is this old, uh, older core group that deploys uh, ex-agent. It was partly behind um, the DNC, or at least monitoring uh, ex-agent within the DNC environment. Zebracy is loosely tied to them. They shared infrastructure and who, some who has data when that existed. Um, and then uh, they have a lot of overlap with uh, black energy, and we'll, we'll look at that in a second. So uh, Hades themselves, really, uh, they are technically advanced. They provide penetration services to other groups like Sophocy, as you'll read in the October indictment. Um, uh, one of the interesting things are, I, I'd say there are two interesting points on this slide. One, they're still active. So we've seen spear phishing from them in October. Uh, most likely they're targeting Ukraine and possibly some European organizations. Um, and then finally, they, they haven't, there isn't any evidence that they've been supporting Zebracy or Black Energy. But they are still active. The indictment did not shut down their, their operations. Um, Sophocy is interesting because they're going away. Uh, I, I don't see SPLM or XAgent much anymore. Um, I, it's either they are going to sleep for a while, like APT29 did, and coming back. Um, but uh, SPLM and XAgent only showed up once in a Eastern European network in November. Uh, that's rare for us to see. And, um, and they seem to be going away while Zebracy on my next slide is coming into focus. So Zebracy was in the news in, well, recently, but really they've been targeting uh, organizations, diplomatic organizations with this cannon backdoor since March. 
and they are highly active right now. Um, they have shifted not only from targeting mostly all, well, exclusively Central Asian or, uh, diplomatic organizations to uh, worldwide attacks now. So Western networks might see more of not the Canon backdoor, but they've shifted back to their Delphi backdoors um, and now are targeting the rest of the world. So it seems to me that these guys, uh, they really are replacing a lot of the Sophocy activity we've seen in the past. They are not terribly technically advanced. You won't see zero day from these guys. And uh, they share uh, infrastructure, build IDs, and uh, they spearfish from the same IPs. The same IPs are shared between Black Energy and Zebracy. That's really interesting stuff. Um, Black Energy themselves is uh, very interesting. They use the Siemens exploit. Uh, a remote server-side exploit to run arbitrary code on industrial control systems back in 2014. And then two years later, in January of 2016, we saw Gray Energy doing the same thing in uh, a smaller nation, um, using a Siemens exploit to download and run arbitrary code from an IP address that was previously used for two years by Black Energy. So I, I think it's pretty uh, solid that these two groups are actually just the same, uh, simply retooled or start using malware. Finally, I'd just like to point out that there is a long history of overlaps between these groups and sometimes unexpected overlap. Mike Scott presented on how overlap between Zebracy and Turla uh, happened uh, in June, I believe it was, with their LNK files. It was, it's really unusual to see uh, between these, these, sharing between these groups. Although it goes back to 2013 when we saw Mini Duke sharing uh, some of the, the same self protection uh, lists in their Mini Duke backdoors as we started seeing in Win, Win IDS uh, downloaders at the time. So there's a long history of sharing, um, and sometimes it needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Um, I expect to continue to see this sort of uh, aggressive activity from Black Energy in Hades. I expect to see a lot less usage of X Agent. Either they're retooling, again, they're retooling or they're changing something up, but when I only see one instance in November, it, it really means things are drying up. Um, increased use of open source and modification of open source uh, malware, and um, the targeting. Well, the targeting, we're going to continue to see Ukraine. I mean, there was just another uh, conflict between some ships. And uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the tensions are raising. So we're going to continue to see that sort of activity. Uh, the, the Central Asian ex-Soviet states are always under attack from these guys. And, uh, and I do not see anything other than ex-agent diminishing at this point. So with that, are there any questions? You'll have to ask Kurt at Beers. Ah. Yeah, we'll keep on, we'll keep on we going. Go. Thank you, Kurt.